lots of people were excited about a popular Atlanta-based vegan restaurant making a stop in Jackson. It's the experience. Yeah. It really is the experience. And the name. And, and the name. A commitment, right. a commitment to health. Yeah. You know, I think we do need to change the culture of how we eat in our black community. Yeah. So whenever we can support a black business, we'll do just that. Yeah. Absolutely. Hundreds of people showed up prepared to break the heat and lines by any means necessary. Look, I didn't know how long we were going to be out here. So that's why I brought the chicken. In Atlanta, I, I was in there longer than this, so it's not bad. I heard a lot about it over the years, so I think it's worth the wait. We'll see. While many people in line aren't vegans, they were up to try something new. Ready for this vegan burger. I'm not vegan in real life, but I've tried several vegan dishes, and I have not been disappointed yet. Maisha Hambrick says when the city of Jackson reached out, they thought it'd be a great idea, but didn't know just how big today would be. They sent me a couple locations, and, you know, we, we chose the stadium. We felt like it would be a good fit for the crowd. We know how our business comes. We tend to get a lot of support. I didn't know Jackson was going to show up like this, but they showed up and showed out, so I'm glad I picked this location. And, you know, it's Hank Aaron. You know, we got some Atlanta stuff going on. So, you know, it was a great, great spot, and Jackson showed up and showed out. You know, and there could be a permanent home for them, too. They've been out here since 730 this morning, honestly, and, you know, we still got people coming in. So, hey, if the day continues well, we might be in Jackson. Many people I spoke with today say they hope a Jackson location becomes a possibility. I'll be here every other day. I'm a burger fanatic. In Jackson, Kayla Thompson, 12 News.